Are you eating peanut butter from a jar? You're gonna get diabetes. You're eating avocados. You're not gonna be able to buy a house. Oh my god, are you talking about what Tim Groner said? About how millennials can't save money for houses because we spend too much on coffee and avocados. So you think that young people have now got the prospect of never owning a home? Absolutely, when you're spending $40 a day on smashed avocado and coffees and not working. I, of course, absolutely. You know, that is such bullshit. You know, housing prices have risen 40% in the last five years. Yeah, and you know in the last five years, the av average avocado consumption has gone up two kilos per person. Millennials are terrible savers. We spend too much money on minor luxuries like avocados when we go out. I guarantee you're wrong. I guarantee you're wrong. Well, I guess we'll never know. I guess we won't. Right, we're here today at Jam Factory on Chapel Street. What do you think about the affordability of houses in contrast to the price of smashed avocados? Um, well, I don't know what the exact figure is, but if I have to spend 80 times my wage, that's a, not right. But if it's that much to buy a house and it costs $14 for some smashed avocado and people are telling me that that's the reason why I can't afford a house, the maths doesn't really check out, does it? So, I mean, Housing is like, you know, a million bucks and smashed avocado is 18 bucks, so, you know. Uh, yes, know. but you'd have to save. If you didn't <laughs> spend that, you'd have maybe the deposit for a house. Well, I mean, it's not very inspiring for a deposit for a house when, you, you know, you're earning 60 grand a year and a house is a million bucks. It's like, rather go up smashed avocado. Uh, the avocado price in the cafes I find is very expensive right now. For a bit of smashed avocado is about six seventeen. I find. It's a bit 2x. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'm a millennial and I really don't buy many coffees or smash avocado plates out because we can't afford them. Melbourne has very decent prices for avocado smash. I'm from Sydney, so like, I know how expensive it can actually be. Um, and I think that the only way to get through like a tough uni degree is to live off that kind of food, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that the older generation were better at saving? Uh, no, I think all uni students like can't really afford stuff and yeah, it's just a different time. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah, I agree, yeah. I think they were. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, less shit to buy. Sorry for swearing. Just like less, less gadgets, less um, tech. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you have a microphone? I just got back from the jam factory. I found a ton of people that agree with me. Yeah? Well, I'm just on my way to a small business and I feel like they're going to agree with me. <laughs> Good luck. <sighs> We're about to go behind the scenes of a small business where we'll meet Charlie, who is the manager of a pizzeria. And he's just going to tell us a little bit about how the pricing of avocados has affected their business. We get avocados from our supplier, uh, wholesale fruit and veg uh, that supplies many of the South Yarra Paran area. So do you get the avocados on deals? Uh, we get it at bulk rate and they're always ripe. So um, at the moment they're a steady price of $2.80 and they have been for the past few months, but that's been on the rise for the past 10 years as the supply and the demand, especially for avocados, has gone up. How often are you buying We go to our supplier three times a week and we buy different varies. So we're just a small pizza restaurant. We only serve them in pastas and some salads. We go through maybe 30 avocados a week. And did the business notice the increase in price over the years? Yeah, and then we've had to change our menu prices within that time due to normal inflation, but also the increase in the last few years um, uh, because of the rise in, the, say, the super fruit that has become, the rise in the health experts, and it's very versatile, it can be used in many different ways. The avocado has become in fashion in a way. Um, so people not only want it in the dishes we have it in, 
but in other dishes that didn't used to have avocado, now they want to add avocado into it. All right, you were right. The housing market is just ridiculous. Well, I guess you're right too. Millennials are just terrible at saving. Yeah. All right, I'll get out of your house. I thought this was your house. I thought this was your house. <laughs>